Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Chinelo, and yes, this is Chinelo's corner. And today we will be learning how to make simple and delicious accra soup. And before we dive into the kitchen, I'll just tell you the story that prompted me on making this soup. Yes, you know, I said from my last video that I was not really strong. I was kind of away for some time. And yes, I was not really feeling fine. So, on uh, the process of recovery, you know there's this weird craving for a particular food when you are recovering or when you are even sick. And as at that time that you'll be sick, you ask for that food and when it's brought to you, and you'll be like, no, you will not eat. And you'll be, they'll be begging you, eat that, eat that so you can take your drugs. But this time around, when I was recovering, I was craving for a crust soup. And this time around, I was not craving for the soup with maybe a bar, as we all know, or semo, or maybe Santana. I was craving for the soup with what we all know, know as a core, according to the Yorubas. And um, from this part of the country, they call it Agudi. So I think um, the white, we, the, yes, the foreign guys who call it um, Pudi, you know anything that has to do with <laughs> putting things together, they call it Pudi. So it might be corn Pudi, yes, I guess. So that was what fronted me. Yes, I was craving for it. So this time around, I was craving for it with echo. And yes, I had to make it because that was what my body was asking me for. Because I feel after going through the, the benefit that I get from Accra, I feel that was maybe there are some nutrients that was my body was missing that I need to replenish so it was craving for it so I'll just I'll just list out the benefits of this particular vegetable yeah I'll list out the benefit and so that we all will know that when we are taking this particular veggie we are really nourishing ourselves with goodies and nutrients that is beneficial to our body so let me just list out or call out the benefit of this vegetables so let's go guys the okra is rich in nutrients yeah it's very rich in nutrients it's also rich in calories it's rich in protein too it contains fats so the if we are lacking some kind of fats a specific fat okra will provide it for us it also contains fiber yeah it has fiber in it so taking in, in uh, consuming this particular veggie will um, increase our uh, fiber in our body then it has magnesium meaning it's rich in magnesium also it has foli folate phthalates I, I guess yes and also vitamin a it contains vitamin a it contains vitamin c it contains vitamin k and also vitamin b6 and antioxidant yes a lot is contained in this particular vegetables so guys yes before we dive into the kitchen if you are new to my channel you are welcome a warm welcome to you a big welcome to you and please don't forget to subscribe yes subscribe click on the subscribe bell button and hit on the post notification bell so you'll be notified whenever a new video is being posted here yeah? like this video by giving it a thumbs up yes click on the like button that's how you give it a thumbs up and comment also guys share so without wasting much time let's dive into the kitchen and that is what we're gonna do right now so let's go so guys this is the orishi that i'll we'll be using to prepare this delicious okra meal and here i have cow skin normally known as poma i have smoked fish and i also have titus fish at the bottom of the pot but i'll open it up so you can see it yes i have cow skin here and you can see i cut it into shape and also into cube like shape yes i like chewing it when i'm eating so let me just open this up so you see the titles fish yes this is my titles fish and yes as you can see the cow skin like I said, I this is some I like to eat it when I'm eating. Then my smoked fish. I will add salt right now to boil for taste. 
Yes, I'll add that. Then I'll be adding seasoning. I have two seasoning cubes that I'll use to boil this. Yeah, I have two seasoning cube. That's what I'll be using to boil this so it come out well. Then I'll also add dry pepper. Yeah, so it will boil into it. Yeah, I'll also be using fresh pepper, but I'll add dry pepper to you boy this obishi wishi like i call it yeah then i also add crayfish yes i'll boil it with crayfish and as you can see this is my crayfish i'll just smash it a bit then i'll add it before adding water to it and then i'll boil i'll let it boil before i start adding other things and guys like i said i told you I'll be adding ogbono to this. I like using ogbono to cook my okra soup. And yeah, that's the final ingredient for this particular one before I'll allow it to come to a boil. So I'll just add water now and allow it to boil. Yeah. As you can see, it looks really inviting even though it has not started cooking uh, yes guys it's looking inviting you want to come and visit at this particular moment and wait for this food to get done so we can do justice to it together <laughs> yeah so let's just allow this uh wishy wishy to come to a boil So these are ubu leaf known as pumpkin then we also have ozuza leaf ozuza is very good in making okra soup it turns out well i'll go ahead and wash it and then slice it here's our washed and already sliced ubu and ozuza leaf so just put this aside and check our rishi rishi that will allow that we left in the heat to boil let's just see how it's doing yes it has come to a boil as you can see hmm. the aroma eh, guys hmm, 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 hmm. i'm salivating already i always say it when i i perceive very good and inviting aroma of a meal i start salivating my own no not other people's own so ahead, ahead, let's move. Let's move to the next thing. Okay, guys, this is a okra, and I've washed it as it is. I've washed it, and I'm ready to cut it into the shape that I want. So let's go. And yes, I have cut my okra into the shape that I want. So our okra is ready for cooking remember we have already sliced our vegetables so and then our ogbono so let's go over to that one this is our ogbono so guys i already mashed so i'll go ahead to add oil to it like i said i like adding ogbono to my okra soup so i'll put this ogbono and the oil on a heat so it will mix together before adding it to our already boiled orishi wishi yes this will go in before our okra and vegetable we go into the pot so i'll go ahead to heat it and melt it up so guys like i told you earlier i said i will be adding fresh pepper to this soup and here is my fresh pepper so i'm adding it right now and guys i removed my fish so it don't get pieces while i'm turning the soup so i'll add oil right now so because the oil i added to the ogbono is not that much it's just the quantity of the ogbono so i added the same amount of air that will be enough for me to get it melted so i have added oil to this i'll allow it to mix up then i'll add the ogbono inside so we are allowing it to get boiled 
as you can see it is really looking beautiful so i'll be adding the organa mixed with oil to get it melted so that's the next thing i'll be adding right now yeah So my bolo is going in right now yeah as you can see i just added the oguana into the pot so i will still allow it to get mixed up before i'll add the next thing and the next thing that will be going in will be a veg a vegetable i'm adding the vegetable first because of the uzza in it so that one will get done so to avoid maybe you are chewing that one separately so immediately i add my okra and soup will be ready i can quickly add the spice the, the seasoning sorry the seasoning and salt to taste and we take it down so to avoid the okra from getting overdone so as not to lose the nutrients so you can see our vegetable has gone in i'll allow it to get hit a bit then i'll add the okra mm -hmm, guys isn't this really inviting wow oh. So I'll add my okra now and that will be it for this meal. After adding my okra, I'll add the fish that I removed in order to avoid it from getting pieces in the soup. Guys, our okra is ready to go in and our soup will be ready after I might have added seasoning and salt to completely give it the desired taste so you can see i'm adding the seasoning yeah a seasoning and a salt for taste the soup is really looking nice and yes it is ready to be devoured yes it is ready to be devoured <laughs> so guys if you want to eat come and join me yo. i'm inviting you because you know that what they used to say eat alone you die alone i'm not eating alone no. i'm inviting everyone that is watching this video right now to come and join me do justice to this delicious okra soup so guys as you can see our delicious okra soup is ready and i told you earlier that we'll be enjoying this or doing justice to this with agidi or a core and that's what i am gonna do right away yes that's what i'm going to be using to do justice to this soup so guys try this out guys i hope you enjoyed watching and learning how to make just simple and delicious opera i bet you guys i enjoyed taking that particular meal i enjoyed it i enjoyed it so you just tried it out with a call if you have not tried it before you might say this is weird this is kind of ah, ah. just try it out and see you testify why well, not they use it they take a call with um pepper soup um akara yes which is bean cake yes and also moi moi but this time around if you have not tried it with okra try it out and you will really enjoy it so guys that's all i have for you on this particular video please if you enjoy watching this video don't forget to subscribe click on the like button like it. that's how you give it a thumbs up share this video and comment so till i come again soon with another interesting video i love you guys i love you guys thanks for watching stay blessed bye